taking a quick look at this Panasonic inverter microwave, right? So this is interesting. This is not a normal microwave. So the whole point of this thing is that you're going to be able to heat up your food just more evenly, right? You're not going to overcook stuff. Like with a normal microwave, basically whatever the rated power is, that's, that's all it can do. That's all it can output. There's no variation in there. Now you might say, well, it has a power level setting, but all that does is actually just cycle the microwave on and off, right? So it's full power, no power, full power, no power, right? Which helps, obviously that helps. Um, instead of just having it go, you know, continuously. And what they're showing here with this, I don't know why you'd be heating up a glass of milk, but, you know, basically the very center, just the way a microwave works, the very center of that glass of milk, is just, it's, it's going to be, it's just going to get overcooked, basically, right? In comparison to the rest of it. And then it's not only just the fact that it's not even, it's that, like I said, this part is good. You might actually overcook it. And how is that going to change it? Right. Is it going to somehow make it taste worse? Is it going to change the texture? There's a whole bunch of possibilities. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, you've been using microwaves your whole life, right? You, you know, you know, you know what happens. So obviously with the inverter technology, it can actually vary the output. So they do claim that this thing is 1200 Watts, right? which is kind of like the standard, that's kind of like middle of the road. It's a good size microwave, right? It's kind of, you know, what we expect to see here. But the thing is, you know, like I've talked about in some of my other videos, the thing you gotta be careful with um, is that, you know, 1200 watts is the cooking power. So that's the maximum cooking power. They actually say down here, power consumption 1480, right? So, you know, the microwaves are just not, they don't convert all the power coming in efficiently right there's some losses there but the whole point of this is that basically that 1200 watts you can actually dial that down right so this is the whole point of the microwave inverter is that maybe you don't want to cook <laughs> you know maybe you don't want to cook at 1200 watts right maybe you want to cook at like i don't know a thousand watts maybe you want to cook at 600 watts right that's where this inverter microwave comes into play, right? I mean, you don't want to, or you just want to keep something warm, <laughs> you know, right here. You just want to keep something warm. You don't want to be cooking at 1200 watts, <laughs> right? Maybe it's only 300 watts or something to keep these rolls warm. So that's where, you know, this inverter technology, it's just, you know, far superior. Now, what I was saying too, about kind of being careful with the actual power consumption, you know, because a lot of people, they like to have a microwave for like emergency cooking, right? Like let's say the power's out and maybe you got like a, a battery with an inverter hooked up to it. Maybe you got like a power station or maybe you even just got like a small gas generator, right? That can't, can't output a ton of power. That's where you just always got to be aware that, you know, 1480, even though they claim this is a 1200, 1200 watt microwave, right? It actually pulls a much more power than that. But the whole point, you know, the, the, the advantage of this inverter microwave is, as I talked about, you can actually drop the power, right? So if you only got like a thousand watt inverter, you could drop this thing down to 800 watts, right? And it'd use it, no problem. Whereas, like I said, a normal microwave, it's full power or nothing, <laughs> right? And now they do mention that this thing has elegant controls. But the thing is, I don't know, you know, this isn't to me having this model number just printed right on the front of the microwave, that's not, that's not very elegant, <laughs> you know? So I don't know, they could have put that anywhere else, like inside the microwave. I don't, you don't really need, <laughs> you know, you don't really need to know the model number every time you go to use the microwave. And, you know, in case you're wondering, you know, what size is this thing, you know, how big, what can I fit in it? There you go, right there. And they do claim that this will give you a modern convenience for versatile food preparation. So, so yeah, it's just a quick overview of this inverter microwave. Uh, hopefully you found it interesting or helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.